Hey there, happy Sunday. So I thought I'd share one of my oh shit moments that happened while I was traveling today on the road. I headed up here to Clay Ellum. Clay Ellum's about 27 miles past Snoqualmie Summit. It's pretty treacherous on the highway today. Uh, there's some slush, there's some snow, there's some rain. If you don't have an all wheel drive vehicle, then you are required to have chains on your tires. There were quite a few people pulling over, especially a lot of passenger vehicles. Thank you very much. Uh, so probably about 15 miles before we got to Snoqualmie Summit is when shit got real. There was a spot that was really, really slushy, right? Um, but let me back up a little bit. Before that spot, there were uh, two other vehicles traveling um, close to me. There was another SUV and there was a truck. The truck was transporting something. I'm assuming the SUV was with the truck. The truck was in the middle lane. I was in the slow lane. And if anybody doesn't know what the slow lane is, that's the furthest right. And the other SUV was over in the passing lane, which is the furthest left lane. He was going a little bit faster than what was suggested by the State Department of Transportation for safe driving through slush. And the truck was driving a little bit slower because of whatever he was transporting. And I was going a little bit faster than what was suggested by the State Department of Transportation as well. But when we hit that slush spot, my traction kicked in and I was like, holy fucking shit. So I started pumping my brakes and making sure that I didn't spin out. And luckily I was able to control the vehicle still. I was able to be safe. Luckily there were not vehicles behind us. They were probably about a good mile behind us. The truck, I didn't even know where he was because all I could see was the other SUV must have hit that slush hard. He tried to brake and <laughs> When he broke, he hit the slush, ended up doing a 720, and then finally when his car caught traction, he ended up going back and going into the median. So had I not stopped, I would have had a collision with this car, and he was going pretty fast. It scared the shit out of me. My life flashed in front of me, and all I could think of was, oh my God, I'm gonna be late for my appointment. So with that being said, Please be safe. If you don't have tire um, chains for your vehicle and you have to travel over the pass, I would probably wait or see if you can maybe travel with somebody else. But most importantly, do not break when you're about to hit slush or your shit is going to get smoked. Anyway, I hope everyone's having a fantastic weekend and I will be in touch soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.